Greetings, everyone. Today we're going to talk about why Iron Man is the best Marvel character and why Tony Strack always learns from his mistakes and shortcomings. While we've seen many superheroes and villains in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Tony Stark is undoubtedly the best realized character. Since the beginning of the Cinematic Universe, he has always managed to improve himself in order not to weaken and repeat the same mistakes. In fact, if he hadn't died at the end of Endgame, it's clear that he would have improved his costume to the point where he could use the Infinity Stones. So how did Tony improve himself each time? First he developed the arc reactor, then he designed the Model 2 and made a revolutionary attempt after his first armor. He had an icing problem and solved it, but defeated Iron Munger, who had not yet faced this problem, Iron Man put on and took off his first suit with the help of many machines. As a solution to this, he designed a practically wearable armor. For example, in the first Iron Man movie, he powered his armor with the reactor on his chest. However, he later created a separate arc reactor for each armor he designed, because he lost the arc reactor in his chest before the final battle of the first movie. When he fought Ivan Vanko in Iron Man 2, his armor was shattered by a massive electrical energy. That's why the suit he designed in the Avengers was able to absorb Thor's lightning powers. Again, in the Avengers movie, he had to send a nuclear missile into space that was fired at New York. He had a very difficult time catching the missile because the flight support in his hands and feet was insufficient, so he didn't skip all these details in his nanotechnology costume. He also had to catch his best friend Rhodey when he was falling, but he couldn't do that. So he had to increase his flight power to be faster. Also in the Battle of New York, Tony almost lost his life trying to stop the missile, so he developed a system to control his armor without being an IT. In fact, the Avengers movie was the second biggest turning point in Iron Man's life. Again, in the movie, it took a very long time for his armor to come and save him. This was because the armor came in one piece and it took time to recognize itself and the new armor he designed. Each piece provides flight support and reaches him quickly. When he was freezing cold in the third Iron Man movie, they put heaters in the new costumes. He even put them in the costume he designed for Peter. Iron Man's nanotech armor is also designed to avoid waiting minutes for the armor to arrive. In his battle with the Hulk, he realized that the armor's firepower was weak, so he put bigger guns in the nanotech armor. Tony designed the Hulkbuster with Bruce Banner to stop the Hulk, who caused so much trouble in the Avengers movie, and as a result, he was able to defeat the enraged Hulk. In Iron Man 3, when Tony was captured by Aldrich Killen, he again waited for his armor to arrive. You may recognize the Hello Kitty watch on his wrist in this scene. And the Civil War, he learns from this mistake and uses it as a weapon. When Tony was first captured, no one could find him because he didn't have GPS on him. To prevent this from happening to his friends, he started putting GPS on costumes and armor. When his armor was damaged in the battle with Captain America and Bucky, he was unable to repair himself and his systems broke down. To prevent this, he designed his nanotech suit to repair anything he wanted. That's why Tony Stark has been the character who has improved the most in every Iron Man and Avengers movie, because he was never perfect, but he tried to improve himself over time. That's why Tony has always learned from his mistakes and has been the best performing superhero in the Marvel Universe. We also realized once again that there will never be another person like Tony Stark in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Well, friends, that's all from me for now. Hope to see you again in the next video. Goodbye.